welcome back to my channel so today I have this gorgeous roses nail tutorial to share with you I absolutely adore how this set came out it's so easy and so fun to do I especially love the thumb and the ring finger so if you'd like to see how I came up with this and what my thought process was stay tuned So I'm going to go in and start off with Magic Gel's Deep Rose on alternating nails. And for those of you that like to see my nails, this is my most current set that I did for Valentine's Day. Honestly guys, I really really like it, especially this marble nail. I used the artings for this, it was so much fun. And then I love my blinged out nail. I love bling, I can't help it. So yes, this is my most current set. The second color that I'll be going in and using is going to be Magic Gel's Tickled Pink. Gonna go in and use my ugly duckling matte top coat and matte all the nails and I have a design in mind so I hope it comes out how I want it to fingers crossed <laughs> As always with my matte top coat, I'll be going in with some cleanser and removing that sticky or inhibition layer. So for the first stamping design, I'll be going in and I will be using Clear Jelly Stamper, I believe the name of this is like 1am or almost like 1am, I can't remember but the number is 001 and the plate that I will be going in and using, this is my Lena All About Love 02 stamping plate as you can see it's got a whole range of like cute valentine's day images and whatnot so i'll be going in and i'll be using this rose image so next i'll be going in with the operate art inks and creating like a marbled or watercolored like design on the ring finger and then I want to do some stamping over it.
Now remember with the art inks, there's no right or wrong way to use them. You just go in and keep going until you get the look that you think you're going for, that you finally achieved, and then you can move forward. Okay, so I'm happy with how this turned out. Next, I'll be going in with my Moira 02 stamping polish. I'll also be going in with my Clear Jelly Stamper Glitzy Evergreen stamping polish. I'll also be using this Your Beautiful number 14 plate. Another very, very nice stamping plate. As you can see, it's got a really big lace pattern here. And this gorgeous rose image. But for this now, I'll be using this small rose image here. with those images there I don't want to overpower the base so I'm just gonna leave just like an angled rose stamping design on this nail so now going in on the middle finger I'm just gonna go in with this image here so it's got like the word love it's got some roses it's got some hearts so it still works with my rose theme that I'm going for and I will be using the twinkle tea white glow up stamping polish can see some of the image didn't go just because of how long the nail is and how big the image is so I'm just gonna go in again and um, pick up the same image and just start from down here see and so the image is lined up perfectly so now it's a full coverage nail with this image so going back to my Lena all about love 02 stamping plate I'm gonna take this image here with my red stamping polish and use that for my index finger. Moving on to the thumbnail, I'm going to go back in with my Your Beautiful 14 stamping plate and I want to use this beautiful rose image. I know I'm not going to get the full image, but I still want to use it. I was wrong I did get the full image Ooh, I might go back in and add another one down in here look at how amazing those two look so now that I'm happy with my design and how it turned out I'll be going in with my magic nail guard tackless hyper shine top coat and sealing in my design
I really love this nail like this image too could go good like if you did a marble background like this nail here and then stamp this image over it or if you have like watercolor paints and you want to fill in the roses there's so much you can do with an open image like this Just look at this, especially over this red. Oh my god, it's amazing, guys. And here we have it, guys, for this roses nail tutorial. Honestly, I adore the final result. I think everything came out a lot nicer than I was expecting it to. I wish that the plate that I used this one for had like an outline of this exact design because I would have then gone in with the outline and used like a white or a gold or something. But either way, I love, love this. I winged this. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to do some kind of roses design. So let me know what you guys think. Do you have a favorite nail? I'm really digging this one. I really am. And this one. Like these two would probably be my favorites. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. Please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I do post more content. Everything I use will be listed down below. Until next time, stay glamorous.